good happy Monday morning. Monday morning. I'm on my way to work. I'm running a smidge late. Didn't really pack much lunch. Listen, this is just how we roll now. I don't do mornings very well anymore. Um, I stayed up a little too late um, cooking a corned beef. I was just like, I kept forgetting to cook it and I hit the day I was like I was gonna put it in Sunday morning and I forgot to put it in the crock pot Sunday morning so I really had to put it in like Sunday evening and cook it on high instead of low and that always bums me out because like the point of a crock pot is you get to ignore it for eight hours and so I had to give this one like four and a half or five hours on high and so I was like trying to wring out every last minute I could in the crock pot which is why I uh, stayed up a little bit too late last night but anyway, I had a really good weekend. On Friday night, I went to Jacob's place in the evening after work. Mm, no, I did something else first. That's what I did. I went to the comic shop first to like walk through the venue and see what it looked like. Then I went to Jacob's place and he was like, let's make pizza. Uh, only we'll, you know, sub out an ingredient. I'm thinking he means we'll sub out the cheese. I can't eat cheese. No, what he meant is we'll sub out the gluten crust. We had gluten-free pizza with real cheese. I'm not sure why, neither of us has celiacs. I think he dated someone who did a while ago and so like got good at making gluten-free crust, but like, it's not actually hard to make gluten, like regular pizza crust. And in fact, I went to Mary Posa to grab some ingredients that he asked me to grab. I could have grabbed a chunk of pizza crust. They sell that sort of thing raw. So we had a cauliflower, and almond flour um, crust. And the crust had six eggs in it. It was basically like a cauliflower omelet with pizza toppings. Um, and you know, eggs don't sit so well with me. And it didn't taste like pizza. Um, maybe if I had like rejiggered my thinking and thought to myself, a cauliflower omelet with toppings on it, I would have enjoyed it a little bit more. Um, not my favorite of the things he's cooked. Oh well. Um, and then after we had dinner we went to Tom and Bridget's for some tea. And that was lovely. That was very lovely. Um, Saturday morning I had breakfast with Jason Bronstein. Tom's was fine. He's a fine human being. He wanted to catch up. He's moving to New York in the summer for a job. Yeah, we caught up. Fine. Um, and then I went to the International Pillow Fight. There were probably about a hundred people fighting and maybe another, you know, let me, let me lower that. There might've been like 70 people fighting all together, not all at the same time necessarily. Um, and about that number again, sitting on the ring. It was in the center of Washington Square Park. I brought a really old gross pillow. I mean, let me take that back. I've been sleeping on it for a while. It's not that old or that gross or I wouldn't have donated it. The people who organized it um, were doing a pillow donation, come on sock, at the end, like taking the pillows people didn't want to schlep home, and donating those pillows to homeless shelters. They were going to clean them and, and I think that was pretty nifty. Um, I had a great time. Fighting pillows is super fun. Um, you get to hit people. Yay! Um, I really enjoyed fighting against uh, kids because you, you know, like, pretend you're hitting really hard and then they'd hit you and you'd go down and there's one little vicious monster like probably four years old bright red hair big blue glasses little dorky kid that like most of the kids when you fall down they hit you once or twice and then like run off crowing to go find another active opponent and this kid every time I'd go down he would just keep beating me with the pillow until I got up and moved away this kid was like aha a fallen prey this is how I vanquish my enemy. I'm like, whoa, little vicious four-year-old. This big old nerdy kid with big glasses was like, yeah. I'm like, all right, dude. Um, the downside to the event was some, there were like a bunch of people who were drunk. Like, why can't you enjoy a pillow fight when you're sober, folks? This is fun. Uh, and he whammed me in the face with his pillow. It was Saturday, it still hurts a bunch. I wore my contacts, so like my glasses didn't get broken, thank god. Um, but boy did he hit me in the face hard. And I like, you know, staggered away clutching my nose and he was like, is this a ploy? Are you actually hurt? Are you gonna trick me? And I was like, dude, I need you to give me a minute. I'm in pain here. 
Uh, but other than that, it was fine. And then I really just chilled the rest of the day, I think. I don't think I did anything else on Saturday. Yeah, I was gonna go out clubbing. Yeah, me go clubbing for a, a friend's birthday party. She was in fact gonna meet us at the pillow fight, but didn't for some reason, so fine. I think their like lunch ran long. She was having a, you know, a birthday weekend and the pillow fight was one of the things. Um, and then I was gonna go clubbing, but I like had a headache from being hit in the face. And also don't really want to club. That doesn't seem like my scene. Um, so Kenny and Claire and I stayed in on Saturday night and drank whiskey and watched the Great British Bake Off, which is really how I like to spend a Saturday night. Um, Sunday was also pretty chill. I, um, I dyed Gaby's hair. It looks really good. I'm really pleased with it. She came over at 11 or 11.30 and I did like fire colors. And then we watched more baking show. Um, and then I went to Cold for their Passover program and I ran a station and ate potluck food. And that was nice. Um, and then I, I was at home, no, no, no. Then I, so I went to CBS and then I went out and got a drink with neighbor Patrick, the one whose kid you babysat for. We just grabbed a beer and caught up about our lives. Ooh, these socks do not want to stay up. Um, you know, he's a nice guy. I like catching up with him. He bought me a beer, which I didn't mind. Um, and then I, you know, came back home and waited for the corned beef to cook. And that was my weekend. This week is gonna be fun. Oh, I'm the Roker person on Twitter. You probably know this by now. Um, because I'm not gonna get this posted until, um, Monday night at the earliest. So you will probably know by now. That's me. But I am. I'm seven minutes. Boy, I suck.